They have assistants that you could squeeze to activate, cameras that can recognize objects, and they can even tell you what song is playing without you lifting a finger. The new Google Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL are the smartest smartphones ever, but are they right for you? Sorry Siri, you're just not good enough. Google Assistant on the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL isn't just smart, it's very easy to just turn on by squeezing the phone itself. And you could do everything from looking up information, to answering questions, to firing up a song on Spotify, or you could even say, play BoJack Horseman on my family room TV and it'll just start going. You can also adjust the sensitivity of how hard you need to squeeze the bottom of the phone to activate Google Assistant. This feature called Active Edge might seem a little bit gimmicky at first, but it's a lot easier and faster than saying, okay, Google, every time you want help. I can help with reminders, alarms, <laughs> timers. Let's talk about design. It's clear that whoever designed the Pixel 2 XL was doing something right, and whoever designed the regular Pixel 2 needs some help. Look at the bezels on this thing. It doesn't seem like a phone from 2017. They're super huge, but at least you are getting a bigger screen than you are on the regular iPhone 8. But if I had to choose one, even though they both have unibody aluminum designs and water resistance, it's gonna be this guy over here because the Pixel 2 XL gives you a bigger screen and it nearly goes edge to edge. And even though it's big at six inches, it's fairly easy to use with one hand. Although there's a little bit of bezel on the Pixel 2 XL, we do like the fact that you're getting front-facing stereo speakers, which are pretty powerful. The one complaint I have about both designs is that you don't get wireless charging as you do on a lot of other flagship phones. The good news is that the phone does offer fast wire charging. The smarts for the Google Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL extend to the camera because even though you get just a single lens, you do get true portrait mode photos as you would on an iPhone 7 Plus or Galaxy Note 8 that have dual lenses because it's all happening in software. The other cool thing is that you now are getting motion photos, which is similar to the live photos on the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus, and it gives you a nice little bouncing or loop effect as you're going through your photos. Other camera highlights include a front-facing camera that also does portrait mode, even without dual lenses. And in terms of overall camera performance, we saw amazing results in bright light with a great amount of detail. In low light, the iPhone 8 had a slightly better performance, even though they both have an f1.8 aperture. And here's a feature that the Android and iPhone competition just can't do. With the new Google Lens feature on the camera itself, there's object recognition built in. It can recognize anything from landmarks, movie posters, games, and it leverages Google Assistant to tell you exactly what you're looking at. I know what you're thinking, what about performance? Is this the fastest Android phone on the planet? Well, with its Snapdragon 835 processor and four gigs of RAM, the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL has no problem handling high octane games, opening and closing apps, and the blink of an eye. And in real world performance tests, what we did was a video editing test with a 4K video clip. The Pixel 2 outperformed the Galaxy Note 8 and the Galaxy S8. It wasn't quite fast enough to beat the iPhone 8 and its A11 chip, but it is among the fastest real-world performance phones in the Android universe. When it comes to endurance, we're impressed with both of these phones. The Pixel 2 lasted a little over 11 hours on our web surfing battery test over LTE, and the Pixel 2 XL lasted a whopping 12 hours, which is one of the longest lasting phones, period. There's more good news, because with quick charging capability over USB-C on both phones, Google says you're gonna get seven hours of mixed usage in just 15 minutes of charging. When it comes to overall value, there's no question that the Pixel 2, the regular model, is a lot cheaper than the Pixel 2 XL. It starts at 649 versus 849 for this big guy right here. But if you break it down per month, you could pay a monthly fee even through Google. You don't have to go through Verizon. And it starts at $27 a month for the Pixel 2 and $35 a month for the Pixel 2 XL. And for our money, it's worth that little bit of extra cash because you're getting a bigger screen, less bezel, and more battery life. Make sure you go to timesguide.com for our full review of both of these flagships.